That's the best case scenario, and that's typically why on a square foot basis, driveways are more efficient pricing wise than a backyard patio. Hi, I'm Michael from Sorez Landscaping. Today, I'm gonna to share with you what affects cost and pricing with landscape projects. There's four main factors that affect cost and pricing of a project. You have size, logistics, material selections, and bells and whistles. The first one is size. Of course, the larger the yard, the larger the property, the more area we can work with, the bigger each feature is, of course, the higher the price that project is going to be. The second factor that affects cost and pricing is the logistics of a project. So first and foremost is about the accessibility for equipment to get into the space. If it's a front yard project, very simple, you have road access. But typically the project is in a backyard. So what does the access look like? Is there a community trail behind the property that we can remove a portion of the fence and come through the trail with machines? Or do we have to come down the side yards and bring equipment in? The access of equipment is one thing. The other thing is where are we going to stage the materials? So often when we're using smaller equipment and going through the side yard, we have to stage everything in the front yard. And that also means though that we don't have the big equipment to move 3,000 or 4,000 pound skids into the backyard. So we then have to break that skid down by hand, put it on smaller skids or in buckets and get them to the backyard. So the example of building a driveway, actually the material is staged out front and it's practically right beside the driveway. So we actually wouldn't break these skids down at all. They're gonna be opened, go right from the skid right into the driveway and there is no extra material handling in that scenario. So that's the best case scenario and that's typically why, you know, on a square foot basis, driveways are more efficient pricing wise than a backyard patio. So this part of material handling can drastically affect cost and price of a project as well because it increases labor and this is the biggest cost associated with projects. So with material selections, there are some selections that can drastically increase the price of a project. Now this is a small segment because like I mentioned previously, labor is the biggest factor. However, some material selections can increase labor. I'll give you an example. If you're building a flat patio, now within a patio itself, you will have pavers and you have different kinds of pavers. So you have like small pavers, you know, medium sized pavers and large format slabs. Large format slabs, you can get more square footage done relatively small. It takes a little bit more labor because they're heavy and it typically takes two guys to lift it up and get it into place. With smaller pavers, grab two with your hand, put them in place and it happens a lot quicker and uh, with a lot less labor intensity. Crew can do more in a day than the large format slabs. And so with the large format slabs, we're typically using more machines. We're using vacuum lifters. We're using the mini excavator and putting a clamp on it to get them in place just because each piece can be 150, 200 pounds each compared to just a, a paper that can fit in your hand, which is maybe five, 10 pounds. So the fourth factor, bells and whistles. What does that mean? Well, I'll give you the example of a pool. With a pool, you're gonna have the actual pool structure itself, but then you're gonna have your add-ons, right? Your bells and whistles. What is your cover system gonna be? That can range quite greatly. You could have the high end, which is an automatic cover that you just press a button and it opens and closes. But on the lower end, you can just simply have a solar blanket that you roll out during the season to keep it warm. There's a big range there, right? And so you could have a simple cover system for maybe like a thousand bucks all the way up to like 25 grand for fully automated cover. Same pool, but now the pool has just got either $25,000 more expensive or $1,000 more expensive based on the cover system you add. Each feature has these add-ons, these bells and whistles that you can add, which will drastically change the price. Outdoor kitchens are very much like this. You can have an outdoor kitchen with just a simple grill and just an island, or you can have a grill island with a bar. You can have outdoor lighting just in Wherever you have steps, you can light up your trees and your shrubs and color changing lights in the pool and really dazzle the property up. You could spend two grand on lighting or you could spend 10 grand on lighting. You can incorporate an outdoor audio system that's integrated into the landscape, fully weatherproof. Bluetooth will sync up with any amp you have on the property already. You could put audio just in one area or you could have audio in the entire space. Depending on what amenities you're looking for, but just know that there can be a, a big range and there's a lot of options. You can have a lot of fun.